Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am attempting to cook today. I am going to be making something called farina. It looks like this. This is literally my favorite breakfast, brunch, meal. I really love this so much. It tastes so freaking good. So, now, I am not a chef, but I have a recipe. Um, I saw a way how to make this where it's really, really tasty. So today I'm going to attempt and make it and y'all are going to be my witnesses for this greatness that's about to come about from this video. we're going to prep our farina so of course you need a pack of farina then you're gonna need some sugar then you're gonna need some salt then you're gonna need cinnamon stick then you're gonna need some cinnamon powder and of course you're gonna need a spoon wooden spoon um, I have one of these that kind of just holds my spoon for me and then you're gonna need a pot I'm gonna be using a pot like this because since it's only me that I'm cooking for and that's about to eat I'm not gonna make too much and the most important thing that you will need is some milk let me go get mine so you're gonna need some milk okay so now that I have milk um how I was taught was you pour the milk in first. I think like about that much. That would be good. Then we're going to add a cinnamon stick. Then we're gonna add some salt. I'm gonna put like like about that much salt. I'm like even that. Now let me open up my sugar. So now, all right, so now I'm just gonna do one spoon of sugar. Let me do another. One more for good luck. So we're gonna mix that. And then let me just open this up so that I can have this ready. For this meal, you have 
to stand by the stove constantly stirring. That's the only thing. about to taste that good all right so now that that's stirring like that i'm gonna begin to put some of this in here wanted to show y'all the consistency right now it's starting to get thick so that means the farina is starting to cook i had to put my fire really low because it started to like bubble up or whatever but y'all see how like it's still a little watery but i don't want to add too much farina because the consistency that i'm going for is not thick but not watery it's like a nice in the middle so because of that i can't put too much farina and i have to keep the fire on low just so like that it doesn't overflow i'm just put a little bit more mixing but soon it's about to be finished all right guys so this is my bowl look at how cute this is my grandma got it for me for christmas and this is the farina so now i'm going to pour that in there i'll even put it with the cinnamon stick That looks so good. Then, what I'm gonna do is now just take a little bit of cinnamon powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top. Let me zoom in so y'all can really see. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on top like this. Oh shoot. And this is pretty much my breakfast. It looks so hot. It looks so good. So now, the ultimate taste tester. We have to taste and make sure it tastes as good as it looks. So, 
here goes nothing. Oh my God, this tastes so good. Mmm, wow. <laughs> I did it. Oh my God. Nah, that is freaking blessing. It tastes so good. Yo, like what? Nah, I really did that. Really did that. Yup, I did that. If there was one thing I did, I did that. It tastes so good, I'm so proud of myself, y'all. Let me tell you, I really don't like cooking, but if I do cook though, just know it's blessing. So, on that note, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye. Oh. And do you guys have any requests on what I should make next? Comment down below and maybe your request will be received. Let me just show you how I clean this bowl like nobody's business. That's how you know it was good.